Hello world, this is What's Up 2190 here, and today I'm going to show you how to install Mac OS X Yosemite on your Mac. Um, this It is a free upgrade, if at least if you have Mac OS X Mavericks already running. And, uh, I'm you know, there's a whole bunch of new features and uh, a new interface, and I will be doing a bit of a review of it as well. So, um... I'll just show you how to get started on installing it. You'll want to make sure that your computer's plugged in before starting the installation. Well, that is if you're running a laptop, I mean. And uh, just go to Apple and then Software Update and then go to Updates. It's going to take a minute to come up. You do need an Apple ID in order to install it. And uh, right here, so you just click on it. Right here, you just click on Free Upgrade. And yeah, type in your um, Apple ID and password right here. go oh there we go sorry about that was I typing it in wrong <laughs> And it should start the download process soon. So now it's uh, downloading and it's got a lot to download. So I'm not going to sit here and make you watch it download. I'll uh, pause the video and we'll resume when the installation process starts. So after the download's finished, it'll come up with this window right here. We're going to set up the installation. Just click Agree. And uh, select Macintosh HD, Install. And type in your admin name and password here. And after this is done, it'll restart. So I'm going to stop the recording again here. And uh, I'll show you the full installation process. So after the computer restarts, you ha you'll get a screen like this, where you have to type in your pa your username pa and password. Well, just your password actually, and then this progress bar will appear. So after that progress bar is done, you'll get this Mac OS X install screen. Um, it looks like just like the, all the other install screens except for the uh, progress bar is slightly different and uh, when you install the, when you install the new operating system definitely make sure your laptop is plugged in if that's what you have and also the old operating system will be overwritten and you want to make sure you have two gigabytes of RAM before you do this yeah so on the first startup after installing you might get another progress bar that looks like this so I just finished installing uh, Mac OS X Yosemite, and I can tell you, based off of what I, what my experience with it, it seems like a very solidly well-built operating system. There'll be some software updates right off the bat that you'll want to install, as your, uh, as your little App Store icon right here should notify you. All the uh, notific the uh, icons are different. The menu bar is now sort of this like a transparent iOS style tab. They kind of modeled the whole. Um, they kind of modeled the entire um, operating system more after iOS, you know, and uh, it seems very solid and well built from Apple. The I'm not going to be able to go over all the major differences in the apps, but you know, there's there's such features as being able to send SMS text messages from a computer. You can make phone calls from your computer. You can switch open emails from your uh, 
computer over to your uh, i to your iOS device and stuff like that. I'll put here this right here is a a web a web web page with all the new features introduced in um, OS X Yosemite, and I'll put this the link this link in the uh, this video description. So it seems like a really great operating system. I'll show you off a bit of Safari. Uh, they've improved the, the uh, mail client has been improved, but I don't use that. I don't really use Safari either. I use Google Chrome, but I guess I'll just show you guys a bit of one app. Why not? Yeah, as you can see, Safari is completely redesigned, and. Uh, I'll just try and pull up Google. Oh yeah, a lot of times when you search for something in the in like the search bar of a program now, it'll come up with results from your computer and results from the internet. It's the same with Spotlight. And that Spotlight will now show results from the internet for your searches as well. I'll show up, I'll show a Spotlight a bit, and uh, here it is. Sorry, my screen recording software glitched out there for a second. And see, I have QuickTime TIM typed in. It's coming up with the QuickTime player. It's also coming up with um, the uh, internet page for QuickTime, the Wikipedia page, as well as another suggested website. And that's 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 about it. Again, I can't really show off all the program's differences because you know that would just make the video way too long. And so that's about it. If you have any requests for tutorial on this uh, or a software review on this new operating system, uh, just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Oh yeah, did I mention that you can make phone calls on this op on the new operating system? I think I did. And uh, that's about it. This is what's up to one nine zero, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day.